Okay, calculator folks. Um, I have something a little bit different here uh, in part of this video uh, for you that's going to really, really, really help you out. Um, first, I'm going to show you how to just put these complex numbers in your calculator and how you can add them up, have your calculator do all this work, or multiply complex numbers together. But when we get to the quadratics, there's uh, something else I have for you that uh, will make your life really, really simple. It requires a little bit of setup first, but um, I'll walk you through that, and then every problem afterwards will be pretty simple or a little bit, a little bit easier, a little bit more straightforward. All right, but let's start with um, these complex numbers. So, what is the number i? Now, this is just one of those things you need to know, but i is uh, the square root of negative one. Okay, so it's option one. That's what i equals. Have it written down somewhere in your paper because we'll be talking about that a lot. Um, which is equivalent to this. Now let's type this in our calculator. This is probably honestly faster to do without the calculator, uh, but I'll just quickly show you how to type it in the calculator because other problems, especially when you multiply and divide, will be a lot faster. But I have 5 minus 4i, so let's do in parentheses, uh, 5 minus 4. Now here's how you type an i. Hit second, and then all the way down here, my uh, little decimal, there's a little i above it. That's going to give me the i that I wanted. So that's how you're going to type in your i. So you have 5 plus, minus 4i, and then we're going to do plus, in parentheses now, uh, 2 minus 3i. 2 minus 3, again, second, and then the decimal gives me my i. Close my parentheses, and then I can hit enter, and I'll have my answer. Now, also, there's one thing you might want to know, though. If you go to mode, and you look all the way down here, I think it's like the eighth line. But it says real, and then it says A plus B I. Uh, if you have it in real mode, uh, you're going to get only real number answers. But when you put it into A plus B I mode, that's um, going to give you imaginary answers. So if you're going to use complex numbers, and you know you're going to deal with imaginary numbers, remember to do this. Remember to change this setting. Uh, to A plus B I. If you leave it in real mode, some of it works, some of it won't work. Um, but if you know you're going to use complex numbers, go ahead, come, come to this menu, which again is you go to mode, and it's like the eighth option down. Change it to A plus B I. But don't forget to make sure you change it back uh, to real when you're done. Okay? So you're going to have to, you can change that mode on and off. All right, so all the other ones, you know, uh, 2 plus 3i and uh, plus 7 plus i, uh, you can do it the same exact way. Even with subtracting, you can do it. Um, type it in. Uh, as you see it with the parentheses, it should be fine. It's a lot faster when it comes to multiplying, so let me go ahead and do one of these. You know, we've got 3 plus 4i, so let's see here. 3 plus 4i, and then I'm just exactly as I see it on paper here, or on my screen, 2 minus i, uh, 2 minus i. All right, no plus i, minus sign in between them. I didn't even put the multiplication sign in between them. I just put it exactly as I saw it on the paper. Now when I hit enter, I get the answer right away. So that's a little bit faster. That's actually a lot faster than that and subtracting one, um, especially doing that by hand, it would take a lot longer. Uh, but you can do all of those. Now here's where it gets a little bit different. Um, actually, while we're at it, let me, I'll come back to this quadratic in a minute, but let me go ahead and jump down to some of these at the bottom, some of these complex numbers at the bottom. A conjugate, I don't know if there's a way to do the conjugate in the, in the calculator, but the conjugate uh, is always uh, changing the sign in front of i. So negative 6 plus 4i is conjugate would be negative 6 minus 4i. But here's what I wanted to show you. Very last question, doing this on your calculator is a much, much simple, much more simple process than it did by hand. So let's go ahead and take a look. Remember, we want to make sure our mode is uh, in uh, the imaginary mode, and it is. You see that A plus B I on the eighth line is highlighted. It just definitely want it to be in that mode. And when we, let's type this in. So we have what? We have 4 plus 3 I on top, so we'll do 4. Make sure you use parentheses again, uh, 4 plus 3 I. And then divided by, so that's what fractions are, right? Division. 
uh, 3 minus 2i. So let's put that in parentheses. Three, make sure you use parentheses. That's very, very important here. Okay. So put both of them in parentheses. Make sure you're dividing them. 4 plus 3i and then 3 minus 2i. Just want to make sure I got it right. So let's see what happens when we hit enter. All right. Well, it didn't work out quite as neatly as I wanted because it gave me decimals. But it's still OK because if it's multiple choice, like this question is, you can still type these out uh, in your calculator and uh, see which one matches. So we're looking for an answer that looks kind of like that. So the first answer choice is 6 over 13. I still think this is probably a little bit faster. Uh, remember, do fractions in parentheses. So 6 divided by 13 in parentheses. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, plus 7 over 13. All right, so plus, wait, there's 17, right? 17, no, hold on. Is 7 or 17? There's 17, OK. 17 divided by 13, close parentheses. Don't forget the I on this as well. Uh, second I. All right, so as you can see, that answer is identical to the answer that I got from the division. So there is my correct answer. You can see if you type in any other of the answers, you know, 6 over 5, let's, let's do that for, for a second. Uh, the option B, let's see what that looks like when I type in the calculator. 6 divided by 5, parentheses, uh, plus, let's see, 17 over 5i. So remember to use fractions of parentheses, 17 divided by 5, and then i. And you can see that answer choice is a little bit different, right? So I knew the answer. The calculator gave me this answer. Uh, with, it didn't give me a very nice answer because there was a bunch of decimals. But I just typed in my answer choices and saw, you know, which one matched up. And that, that certainly can work for you if you have a graphing calculator. Now, let me go back to the quadratic. And I'm going to leave a link in the description uh, to how I found out about this. But you can program your calculator to solve any quadratic you want with the quadratic formula. Okay? So I've already done it with this calculator. I hit program, and I installed this program called Quad for the quadratic formula. When, what I do, all I need to do is hit enter. Uh, I have to enter again. And then it calls me for the A value. So let me do this real quick with the, this quadratic. The A value is 1, the B value is negative 9, and the C value is 20. So I'm going to plug those in. A value is 1, B value is negative 9, and the C value is 20. Then when I hit enter, it's going to tell me the answers, 5 and 4. So the calculator did the quadratic formula, got my answers for me, didn't have to do all the work in terms of writing it out. All right, so we have the answer. It's option one. Uh, answer is four and five. Okay, so that's going to work for any quadratic, even um, complex numbers. Now remember, if you have complex numbers, it's probably safe that when you do these, to go ahead and make sure, you know, hit that mode button and make sure you're in that imaginary or the complex numbers. Remember that's the eighth row here, right? One, yeah. Yeah, the eighth row, instead of highlighting real, you're highlighting A plus B I. So make sure that's highlighted because, uh, for instance, let's go look at a different quadratic one that has complex numbers. We'll let's do this one just for fun here, you know? Now we have the complex numbers. So let's try that again. Program. Uh, let's use the quad program that I mentioned. Hit enter twice so we can get that A prompted. And then I'm going to plug in my A value, which is 2. My B value, which was negative 3, and then C, which is negative 2. So negative 3, enter, and then negative 2, enter. It's going to tell me my answer. There it is, 2, and then negative 0.5. So that's answer choice option 1, right? Negative 1 half and 2. Option 1 is the same thing. All right, so let me show you what happens with the uh, uh, complex numbers. Now, I understand, like I said, I know your calculator is not doing this right now because you don't have the program installed um, or programmed into your calculator. Now, I'll mention you know, how to do that in a moment, but I'm just showing you what the program does for now so you can see how easy it is in your future. So let me just try one more time with this complex number 1. 
uh, x squared, all right, so a is 1, b is 5, c is 7. So program, choose this again, a is 1, b is 5, c is 7, right? Yes. All right, hit enter. Now, of course, it does what we did, did last time where it gives me these weird decimals, but if I want to, I can go ahead and just type in some of my answers and see which one is the same. So the first answer is negative 5 plus minus i squared 3 over 2. So I'm just going to use one of the plus. I mean, obviously, you can see both these answers. One's a plus 0.866, and the other is minus 0.866. So I really don't need to try to find both of them. Uh, but let's type in negative 5. Let's just do plus for now. And then it was the first option was i. I and then the square root of 3, right? Uh, I notice divided by 2. Now I'm going to hit enter and then hit divided by 2 because I notice obviously if you look at the answer choice, everything is divided by 2. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter so I can do this little thing and then just go ahead and get divided by 2. Uh, and you'll see, hey, there it is. Uh, that's the same as the very first option that pulled up when I saw this originally. Um, so that's definitely the correct answer, answer choice A. Um, you know, you can try all the answer choices until you get one that matches, uh, but that's how it works. So what you're going to need to do is, uh, I put a link in the description to the video that I found on how to do this, but it'll walk you through how to program your calculator button by button so that you can get this, um, this quadratic formula program, so that you can do exactly what I did, just plug in three numbers, your A, B, and your C, and have it work it out for you, even for complex numbers or uh, regular real numbers, okay? So I'm gonna cut the video there. Uh, please go check out that other video if you want this simple process. Otherwise, you're gonna use a quadratic formula, in which case, uh, I will reference you to the other video I made for the non-calculator folks. Um, you would solve these equations that way, okay? Uh, we'll see you later. Good luck on your quiz. You're probably going to be better off watching the other video. Um, but yeah, have a good rest of your day.